here's what happened to me i ended up having a bit of a loss and i've heard only negative stories i'm like and finally i saw someone trading in front of me and i saw him make money so that was my first positive notion to it i mean like it's not as bad as people make it up to be So uh hello everyone we are back with another episode of one trading mistake series a uh, series where we discuss mistakes of fellow traders like you and me to whom we can relate and we try to understand what they have learned uh from their trading journey and what we can learn from their mistake so uh today we have with us another guest uh, uh who will share their biggest trading mistake of their trading career so uh for our viewers could you tell us your name uh what do you do and uh when you started trading or for how long you have been trading in the markets hey sagar bharat here so i'm hey, very 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 new to this i think it's about okay. almost a month you can say and okay, uh, i had nothing to do with the trading background i'm a filmmaker mm-hmm. i'm a freelance mm-hmm. filmmaker and i had a friend who introduced me to this and i just got into it and it's been a fun journey so far <laughs> so uh, uh, your friend was uh, trading or he trades so he got uh, you got into yeah, yeah 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 so, so he's also like a, a hobby trader this is not what he does for a living and mm. i actually bumped into him uh, on a particular day we had no intention of meeting as well i had some work that side of town and ended up catching up with mm. him and i go to his room and i see him uh, trade and i'm like what is this what's going on kind of a thing mm-hmm. so he told me he's signal trading and uh, he just has to follow a few signals he's getting from this uh, telegram channel oh, and sad. it's nice money on the side type of a thing yeah <laughs> like he said why don't you go give it a try when you have nothing to lose I'm like okay and i was like okay fine that point to lose is a very big statement <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so uh so your friends uh i okay so your friend is uh, was trading and you saw him trade so look keep us chalo apan bhi karte we'll do it also and uh, uh so uh, coming to the so since your period is not very long uh like mm-hmm. you, as you said it is one month only mm-hmm. so uh, i uh, i i have like i don't know if you have committed very big mistakes since it is starting so it's a very good time to uh, be on this series or at least you are aware of i should uh, i should recognize my mistakes what i'm doing right now so tell us about your uh, mistake what you have done in uh, in your trading journey on in this one month so but before that i just want to give a little more context of what the introduction okay. of trading has been to me so i have heard about it from about 5 to 6 years and mm-hmm. i have heard only negative stories i'm like uh, i've lost this much i've lost that much so i've always been like okay i mean why get into it and stuff i have heard a lot of people saying it's very psychological it's emotional and i never understood what or not do you mean by that right and how is that involved here there are a lot of these big jargons coming away and like you know about mental focus and stuff Mm. and i've only i only heard negative things all all along and mm. finally i saw someone trading in front of me and i saw him make money so that was my first positive notion to it i mean like it's not as bad as people make it up to be i mean it's mm. like drinking and smoking right growing up all your life you hear your parents say it's like bad for you it's wrong this that mm. and then you go to college and like hey it's fun as well so <laughs> <laughs> probably a negative connotation shouldn't associate but yeah as an example yeah. but i understood your point yes so yeah finally i saw uh, it happening i saw like the positive side of it for the first time i was like mm-hmm. okay why not like i can put in a small amount and uh, consider like okay if i lose is also it's okay it's not going to really affect me mm-hmm. kind of a thing and i got on the demo account first just to get a hang of things got get comfortable with that and that was pretty breezy i was like okay fine it doesn't matter but once the real money came in and i was like okay this is what everyone was talking about <laughs> this is where all the psychology and your feelings and uh, stuff start matter and uh, 
the terminology that I learned, the problem that I picked up was uh, mm-hmm. revenge trading. Yeah. So he, here's what happened to me. I ended up having mm-hmm. a bit of a loss. It wasn't that mm-hmm. much. It could have been easily. I could have just waited for a while and recovered it. But I wanted to make it back right in that minute. Mm-hmm. And my emotions were running high. It's like, how could I lose this mm-hmm. kind of thing? And there, I one time I made a, I took a really big risk and it paid off, uh-huh. which was a very bad thing that happened. So I was like, oh okay. Yes. So it slowly started to become a habit that okay, if I fuck up slightly. And then I end up taking bigger risks. I started getting bigger mm-hmm. rewards. And then twice it bit me back. Like I ended up messing up for that. Every time something went wrong, I got emotional. I took way bigger risks than I should. Started biting me in the back. And then the entire emotional turmoil, right? The more you lose, the more you want to fight and win back. Correct. So my biggest thing was if you mess up for the day, please leave it and walk away. It's fine. You can come back another day. Mm-hmm. So that's what I've slowly yes. started to incorporate. Like yeah, set goals. I can uh, one once again. I can, uh, I wanted to add a point here. Huh. See, um, it's always my belief that stock market or uh, especially I I will say stock market only will 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 uh, will show you the real relation of you with your money you will previously you will think that it's it's okay i can lose 5000 i can lose 10000 there is no worry i am not worried about 10000 5000 and when you lose that money in front of your eyes then you get to see your real self true, true, true. what do you feel about money actually so this is i it's well, mostly it is uh, I can relate to it because it happens like it happens to every trader right it happens to me back in that back in days also I I thought ki I am very um, uh, I have a very good amount of patience I had a, this wrong deal I had a good amount of patience and the minute I entered into stock market I realized that I don't have patience with money I really don't. I once I my stock is doing let's say five or ten percent. I'm eager to book that profit, so I don't have patience to hold it for a long time. So mm-hmm. um, I was just adding to this point. Yet you get to see your real self. Um, very true. Trade in stock very true. Who you are comes right in front of you. All your demons just are right there <laughs> in place. Everything you hide from the world, or you feel like, no, no, I don't have this flaw in me, or this is not a problem I have, it's for others. It's all right there in front of you. (laughs) Yeah, good. It's a good exercise to understand yourself as well. Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, Bharat, um, seeing your, this one month journey, uh, what would you suggest a beginner? And uh, have you... uh, have you uh, have you found a way to stop revenge trading or if if you if you have to suggest somebody ki boss don't do revenge trading and this is how you can avoid it how would you tell a beginner like, i've set uh, targets of i don't need to make this much i've set hmm. timers and i've set goals like okay if i'm losing this much then it's okay it ends my trading ends today if i won this much my trading ends today and if it's cross this time limit my trading ends today so you will find your own rules i feel what works for you best Mm -hmm. and you will only learn by burning your hand there is no way to escape it because i i heard so many things here and there and none of it uh on paper it all sounds great like "Ah, okay 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 (laughs) but you only learn when you put your own money in and you lose it and then when you win also you start to understand your psyche and I feel like once you start get an idea of who you are and what your demons are, and then you start setting your boundaries and lines according to that. So yeah, That's correct. I feel like the best way you will there's no see like failure is the only way you is the best way to learn in life. I feel, but here yeah. the problem is the failure is very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> that is the issue. Yeah. So maybe if you can start off with a smaller capital, make all mm-hmm. your mistakes, and then slowly keep. Uh, growing it that's another thing that I kind of picked that that yes that is yes that is that is correct
so <clears throat> as you said uh, be discipline uh, make your own rules because in trading in the zone the uh, book written by mark dagles right he says that because this is a profession where there are no rules right so you have to impose some rules on yourself to be successful like in any right. profession in doctor in engineer you you be uh, you be in any job you have certain rules on you so in this profession there are no rules so you have to impose your rules and as you right. said to stop over trading you have to limit your trades you have to limit your time uh, so i can recall one uh, on this one quote from umbrella academy there is a series there is a there, there is a quote it's a uh, fighter who fights and walk away fights the next day very so, true <laughs> so you have to be that person because you have made profit go away you have made losses go away there will be a next day there will be a next day yes. so thank you so much Great. bharat for doing this wonderful session since you have a lot of experience but uh, it sounds like a little experience in trading but you have learned a lot in this very <laughs> short amount of time <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you really have learned a uh, Uh, a big lesson in this one month so i uh, wish you best thank of luck you. for your future and uh, thanks again for taking time time out and doing thank you thank you for having me man it was great talking to you